Significant progress has been made over the course of several months. The McEnstaff family is moments away from finally having a brand new house after their old one was burnt here in Gibson Flats one year ago. Well, this is going to be an entry to our house. This will be our dry storage area. Carb, after carb months of patience and persistence, and Greg McEnstaff alongside his family got to step inside their new forever home. I was promised by my contractor that once I got the permit on the 14th of November that he'd have a house for us for Christmas to look at. And here it is. This is what the house looked like last month. Greg says they are the only resident in Gibson Flats fully rebuilding. We are feeling really hopeful and really appreciative for all the people that's made it happen so far, especially the contractors that came and got us started. And this is what's going to keep us rolling is seeing this house up. Because now we're going to be like, let's go, let's keep it going. And I'm really happy to see like my dad feeling more hopeful to see it go. The Mackensats were one of several residents that lost everything during the fire. And while the completion of their new house signifies a new beginning, it's hard to forget the memories of what occurred the morning of December 1st. We're definitely as a family trying to move on, um, trying to put everything behind us and, and move forward with uh, just getting our lives back together. Fortunately for them, months of hard work and dedication coupled with their positive attitudes is what kept this family motivated. But they couldn't be more thankful for the work done by the contractors. The layout of the house is expected to look the same as the original. They framed this house in four days. It's small, but I mean, it was amazing. And just to see our hopes coming true, to see the house coming up and coming back together as it was, is totally amazing. And we can't wait to be in our house and hopefully we'll be in it by the 1st of April. In Great Falls, Cade Mentor, MTN News.